To recap, today Facebook deleted my personal account, was shut down my stop mandatory vaccination page as well. Two hours later, Twitter suspended me. This was a coordinated attack. What's their end goal? The enslavement and forced vaccination of every human on the planet. Rise up and fight or be a slave. Well guys, we did it. We got a dangerous man who has a large following of people that can cause death and disease and we cut off a huge amount of his voice. I think that's uh, something to celebrate. I'm not entirely for removing people's voices. Freedom of speech is uh, a, a thing that should be respected. However, freedom of speech does not apply to social media because social media is an owned space. So Facebook and Twitter own the right for you to post on their social media. And if they don't agree with what you're posting, it is well in their right to remove that. So today we got rid of a huge amount of voice coming from an anti-vaxxer and that's not going to be a bad thing because disease. A special thank you to my patrons NQS and McPuffin and to YouTube member Holly Miller for supporting the channel and supporting my content. Thank you. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. We are returning once again to r slash vax happened. I thought this was a good time because Pfizer amongst a couple of other companies have announced their um, COVID vaccinations are well on the way. So I thought we'd take a look and see what people's responses would be because I'm sure there are responses to it. Let's take a look, shall we? If there was ever a year not to get your flu shot, it's 2020. Now, I don't intend entirely disagree with this woman, but not for the reasons that she thinks. So currently, a lot of healthcare systems are very, very much oversaturated with people because there are a lot of COVID patients and there are a lot of people overwhelming the system. So if you are not someone that would be at risk of catching the regular flu, then you don't necessarily need to get the vaccination. I'm not sure I've ever gotten a flu jab specifically. However, if you are someone that would be at risk if you didn't get this vaccination, it might be worth you getting it anyway, but just bear in mind that the healthcare systems are currently a little overwhelmed. So, you know, she's just helping out the healthcare systems. <laughs> Is this Katie Klobs, one of the, the worst human beings to ever live on the earth? Germ theory, vaccinate the fish. Terrain theory, clean the tank. I don't know what they're trying to say with this point because it really doesn't make much sense, but let's just, I'm gonna put my own little spin on this, right? The, the real vaccination theory here wouldn't be putting a fish in a bag in, in its fish tank. It would be putting one of those automatic filters in the fish tank. You know those little machines you put in there that automatically clean the tank for you? That's what vaccinating does. It means that you don't have to clean the tank yourself because it's being cleaned. Because cleaning the tank would be getting the virus and then getting an immunity to it. Whereas vaccination would be getting the immunity for it before you get the virus. Easy. If vaccines worked, why is smallpox eradicated, polio almost extinct, and measles no longer in many countries? I... <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm not sure if you are aware, but that's exactly because vaccines work. You know what you just did in one fell swoop? You just stated exactly how vaccines worked, how why we took them, and what the success was. You've just done that. You've. <laughs> Anti-vaxxers are so stupid that now they're making my arguments for me. <laughs> Do not use the Pfizer vaccine. They spelled Pfizer wrong, by the way. Deep state and liberals have made it turn us white folks black. <laughs> Activated by Bill Gates' 5G towers. Proven by real Donald Trump in today's Pfizer session. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we continue, I'm pretty sure this woman in this picture is one of those people with that a rare skin condition. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but there's a rare skin condition where some of your body, your skin retains the melanin to uh, get the dark pigment and some of it doesn't. So you end up with some of your skin looking black and some of it looking white. I can't remember what the condition's called, but it is a real thing. It's not being caused by a vaccine though. And uh, this moves me on to something I wanted 
wanted to mention to do with Pfizer making the uh, vaccine. And it's proof that the vaccine will be safe because it is in Pfizer's best interests to make a safe vaccine to keep old people alive. And you know why that is? It's because Pfizer is a Viagra company. Their primary demographic of people that buy their product are old people. So by keeping as many old people alive as possible, they get more sales. The more old people that die, the less they're gonna sell. It's basic economics, people. Pfizer do want to make a working vaccine so that they can continue selling Viagra to old people. Think about it. What reason do they have to kill old people? They'll just lose out on money. They're not trying to kill people, they're trying to keep them alive. The leader of Facebook's largest and most dangerous anti-vax Facebook group has gone full QAnon on this year. He posts less about vaccines, but constantly about guns and getting ready for what's coming. Now vibing off the president, he tells his 200,000 members to shoot them all. Antifa thugs are beating people up in DC. This should have been a second amendment rally as well and everyone should have concealed carried. I have no mercy for these thugs. Shoot them all. Let justice descend on these satanists. And this man wonders why his Facebook account was deleted. No, it was, it was an organized attack on him because of the vaccine agenda and definitely not because he is an influential man that just told 200 100,000 people to start shooting people. But no, it's the vaccines, of course. The Nobel Committee for Physiology or Medicine may as well just give the prize to Wakefield, Black Sill, Big Tree, Kennedy, Hadley, Exley, and all the warrior mums for figuring out the causes of autism. It's only a matter of time, but it would save millions of lives to announce it now. Now, we've looked into Wakefield and one of the other anti-vaxxers before, so we can now without fail and without question state that Wakefield is not a medical man. He was paid off to fake vaccination trials and he is banned from science and medical. He is banned from being practicing medicine. That's the phrase I was looking for. I think I just had a stroke. Wakefield's banned from practicing medicine because he faked Fa false vaccination reports for money. And this is the man that you want to give a Nobel Prize to. That and all of the warrior mums who have zero medical history, zero scientific history, and get all of their information off of Facebook and dodgy sites that's URL ends with .biz.io.f.j.gov.internet.com and has no HTTPS, comes up with not secure when you click on the link. But yeah, no, these are the the people that we should be giving Nobel Prizes to, and not the people that have saved millions of lives by creating vaccines. Sure, sure, whatever you say, bud. <laughs> people should not be criminalized for expressing their opinions. That is all. Difficult one. The anti-vax message means people die. If I do not believe in vaccination, I should be allowed to say so without being arrested. And anyway, everyone has to die. I'm iffy on the mandatory vaccines thing because I do believe that it should be a choice to vaccinate, especially if things like herd immunity can be accomplished. People should have that choice, I guess, but ultimately people should be educated well enough to make that choice and anti-vaxxers are the complete opposite of that. We should strive to acknowledge and research what we are putting in our body, but we should strive to understand exactly what that means. Because you can list off a lot of ingredients on a vaccine and go, oh, those ingredients are dangerous, they'll kill me. But when you add ingredients together in chemistry and you get stuff like salt, you know, which is made of two chemicals that kill people, but when combined, are necessary for humans. Salt is an important part of human diet. When you look at vaccine ingredients, they look scary because you're not a chemist and you don't understand what exactly those ingredients mean. And that's what you should be striving to understand. You shouldn't just look at a label and go, nope, this one says it contains trace amounts of mercury that are 
so insanely harmless you get more mercury from eating an apple, but no, 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 I won't take that because mercury is deadly. Like, it's ignorant to the point where you are ignoring very important sciences. But then, they'll go and take these uh, alternative medicines, like those little water droplet things, where they believe that because this water has come into mercury, it will cure all their, their illnesses. There have been these alternate medicines that use mercury, that use freaking belladonna, like, and they are dangerous. There were kids that died from this teething medication that had belladonna in it. And they all say that this stuff is good for them and then say that vaccines are bad for them because they have less mercury than these alternate medicines in them. It's such a cognitive dissonance that it makes no sense, but they will believe it regardless. It it's kind of baffling when you think about it. Should I take the vaccine? Ingredients, reptile DNA, nope. Aborted baby tissue, nope. And a micro trip chip for tracking, RFID and nanobots, nope. So you can't even buy a pie anymore without getting anti-vaccine, anti-vaccine propaganda. Now, I'm just gonna reread this post, uh, but I'm gonna skip out everything that isn't in the vaccine, okay? Should I take the vaccine? And that's all the ingredients that this person listed that are actually in the vaccine. <laughs> when taking your little to the doctor, working clinic per se, but mainly any doctor visit, is it best to pretend they are up to date on shots and tell them yes if asked or be honest and tell them your child doesn't receive vaccines? Ob I know being honest is best, just wondering for future reference how some of y'all go about this. I say they're up to date on their immunizations. Most health workers think immunizations and vaccines are one and the same. No, they don't. I'm thinking natural immunizations, while they are thinking vaccinations. I'm telling the truth and letting them think what they want. Win-win. Lying to your doctor is a flawless practice, guys. It never goes wrong. I don't know why anybody ever tells the doctor the truth. <sighs> I just want to talk about this woman's reply because she says that her children are up to date on their immunizations, but they're not vaccinated. However, what this statement implies is that her children have caught these viruses and survived to them, but they have not, which means they are not immune to these viruses because they haven't yet come into contact with them. Those children are in no way up to date with their immunizations. If they catch measles, they could be in very poor health. If they get polio, they could be in very poor health. If they get any other disease that we have vaccinated for, they could be in very poor health because they are not immune. Their natural immune systems might try and battle this. However, taking a vaccine gives them an extremely strong advantage in that regard. They're not immune because they haven't come into contact with it yet. You don't clear. you clearly don't understand what the word immunization means if you're saying your children are up to date on their immunization when they are very much not. <sighs> but they're anti-vaxxers, how can I expect them to understand science? I can't believe there's this many stupid people in the state that got tested. One million is still less than 1% of habitants in Texas, but we must keep panicking, right? Now I just wanna, just wanna correct this person really quickly because I looked this up personally. Texas has a population of about 29 million, which means that one million people that have caught the virus, and that's only people that got tested, bear in mind. That's 3.5%, not less than 1%. 3.5% of Texas has already been tested and confirmed to have gotten the virus. And that's not including people that haven't gotten tested. It's spreading fast. And in America alone, 250,000 people are dead. We should do stuff to take precautions. We shouldn't be throwing old people under the bus. It's like the argument that came up earlier where someone said, everybody has to die sometime 
time. It's like, well, yeah, everybody dies, but that doesn't mean we want it to happen. That doesn't mean that when someone gets old and they become frail, we just throw them into the road, into a busy motorway and go, just just sit there until you die. We we give them medication. We, we try and draw out their life a little bit. If a child gets sick, we don't just pull their lifeline. We try and get them better. The whole point of medication is to keep people alive so that unnecessary people are not dying. People do die, but that doesn't mean we should just let it happen when it can be prevented. That's why we have vaccinations. Pro-vaxxers are science deniers. Finally, another intelligent human being. Thank you. The irony of an anti-vaxxer calling a pro-vaxxer a science denier when there is next to zero science that proves that vaccines are dangerous and the science that has proven that was proven wrong or proven to be bought out and falsely claimed. Found that he had been dishonest and irresponsible in conducting his early autism research in England. Wakefield is barred from practicing as a physician in the UK and is not licensed in the US. In the Sunday Times further reported that in addition to the money they gave the Royal Free Hospital, the lawyers responsible for the MMR lawsuit had paid Wakefield personally more than £400,000 which he had not previously disclosed. But we're the science deniers. We're the people that are currently eradicating diseases, making diseases extinct. We're the science deniers. Gotcha, right, no, that makes sense. I'm an anti-vax, I don't care what you think. I'm sick and tired of people who are anti-vax getting bullied on social media. We have good reasons to feel this way, and simply bad-mouthing us or attacking us is not going to change our mind. We will not be silenced. I will for sure never have one again. No chance, no matter what you say, to convince me. I've been sucked into that trap before. They are absolutely the worst brand of vacuum cleaner. Dyson all the way for me. <laughs> When I first read the first half, I was like, yeah, no, this fits in this post. This is an anti-vaxxer angry at pro-vaxxers. And then I found out it was about the, the vacuum cleaner brand Vax. And you know what? I was gonna end the video there, but I did find another post. So we've got one more post. But <laughs> Remember that one time you got polio? Nope. It's because 95% of the time it's asymptomatic or presents itself as the flu. It's never been eradicated. They just keep changing its name so that you think it has. I do not remember that time I got polio. You know why? Because I was vaccinated. Because it's basically eradicated. Because vaccinations have made it get eradicated. Because no one gets it anymore. Because we're immune before we even encounter it. What? does it take for them to understand this? Ugh. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna end the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to support me and support the channel, you can click that join button down below, or you can join my Patreon. It helps a lot more than you think. Videos like this are usually demonetized, especially with the new movements YouTube are doing where they're monetizing demonetized content without giving the creators the money. That's just not a good look, YouTube. What are you playing at? Anyway, other than that, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.